Hey Moon Magic Super Souls, welcome to your Moon Month energy update and all zodiac sign readings. Thank you for being here. I hope that you're all doing brilliantly well and 2024 is seriously looking after you already. Now the energy flow in this moon month, it starts with the new moon in Capricorn on the 11th or 12th, depending on where you are in the world. The dynamics are so positive, it's untrue. So this is a really amazing time to set wishes and intentions. And the whole energy of January is supporting us in getting clear about what we want for the coming year. And as we shift into February, it's kind of like the universe... I don't know, gives us our backing almost. Uh, it starts to help us to get that going and to see things really begin to manifest. There may be some tweaking, some course correcting, some adjusting, but it really is as if the universe wants us to succeed. So this is a really amazing and very powerful moon month. There's some hugely large uh, void of course periods as well. A void of course period is when the moon is moving from one sign into another one and so the energy of the moon in that moment is not really being governed by the influence of any particular sign and this kind of energetic can feel incredibly liberating if things are moving forwards for you and things are going really well. But if you're in a period of adjustment or course correcting or you want to pause and reflect, it can feel a little bit unanchored and out at sea. So it's really helpful to know when these long, long, long periods of a void of course moon are happening. So you might want to grab a pen and paper for those. Press the pause button and come back to it for the moon month energy overview part of the video. Or indeed, you can just bookmark the page and come back and make a note of them anyway. I do post them on social media as well, on Facebook and um, Instagram too, so you can check those out as well. Now, if you know your uh, moon sign, your sun sign or your rising sign, you might want to check the readings out for all of these and you can always cross watch for friends, family, partners, potential partners as well. So I'll put all the timestamps into the description box below. And if you're interested in looking at the more in-depth, really deep dive readings for the entire moon month, they are over on another platform. Uh, they're on Patreon and Patreon is a community that works on donations. I do those readings over there because the Patreon contributions actually enable me to put a lot of free stuff into the world. I have a whole online library, the A to Z of Emotional Health, which comes from my counselling and psychotherapy days. It's loaded with psychological and um, emotional information really to assist you to navigate your life from a very empowered position. I'll put the link to the library in the description box as well. Now, this is a completely free resource. Uh, it's always been free. I hope it always will be. And it's the donations on Patreon that really make that possible. It maintains that site and keeps it going as a free resource. So this is why I do those bigger All Zodiac Sign readings over there. And I do a ton of other stuff on Patreon too. So if you are interested in those, do check them out. Beautiful souls, without further ado, let's shift the camera down and look at the overall energy flow for this incredible month ahead. And then I will draw cards and runes for every sign. So let's begin by just checking out the cards and the runes that were drawn for both January and February in the Manifest with the Moon Diary, because they really give us an indication of the energy flow. The entire month of January actually seems to embody the process of movement from kind of one space of being to another. It really does invite you to embrace the culmination of everything you achieved in 2023 and then use all of your learning and awareness to establish a foundation for everything you want to manifest in the coming year. So this moon month is interesting because we cover a bit of January and a bit of February. Now, the collaboration of our first card of the Spiritual Warrior, which is aligned with Inga's, the Rune of Fertility, and then followed by the card of Take Action Now with Burkana, the Rune of Growth, kind of suggests that January will bring this pocket or window of time to observe and notice what no longer serves you, let go gracefully, tie up loose ends, and then with very clearly defined goals and aspirations, make a firm commitment to set course with purpose and intent for the coming year. Now, we then, as we move into 
February, we begin the month with the Earth Festival of Imbolc in the Northern Hemisphere and Lammas in the Southern Hemisphere. Now, both of these are festivals of fertility. So a lot of really potent energy to invest in bringing forth dreams, wishes, manifestations, intentions. Now, during February, there are some beautiful pockets of flowing energy. However, there are also some intense undercurrents as well. And the kind of overall mix of this energy suggests that there'll be periods when significant progress can really be made. But also, this is asking us to recognize that progress sometimes involves assessment and planning so that everything we build is on a solid foundation. Now, our cards, we have the card of problems with the rune of Degas breakthrough. This combination asks us to recognize a problem as an opportunity and suggests that we can then find the information we need to make adjustments. And this then kind of helps us to find those breakthrough moments. Um, and this is really tuning into that idea of needing to do some planning potentially for longer term goals. So tweaking and course correcting along the way. Now, the second card of which direction reminds us not to worry about taking the wrong or the right pathway. And it sort of tells us that whatever happens, we're going to learn and grow from every experience. And Jira, the rune of harvest, actually promises a fruitful outcome. So the overall flow of February suggests that if we're kind of diligent and we have an openness to make adjustments along the way, and we're prepared to have little conscious pockets of stillness that are dedicated to evaluation, we really should be able to start to move things forwards in real terms. Our moon month begins with a beautiful new moon on January the 11th or 12th, depending on where you are on our planet, uh, in Capricorn. And the dynamics of this new moon are just so positive, it's untrue. This really is a day to believe in possibility. And with so many planets in Earth signs, the dynamics are perfect to invest really clear, direct, focused thoughts into your wishes and intentions with your longer term visions for this coming year absolutely at the top of your mind. This is a moon that says be ambitious and be proud of it. Use the energy today to declare your commitment to your pathway ahead and then ask as well for anything and everything that you need to make real and significant progress and then open yourself to receive clear guidance to show you exactly what steps you need to make this possible. Now, I'm going to bring up the timings for you. The reason we look at timings with the new moon is because the very best time to make your wishes and intentions is in the eight hours following the exact timing of the new moon. Now, I can't bring up every city in the world because there are just too many places to squeeze into this video, but this is a good selection that should enable you to work out the timings from your location. We then move into the waxing crescent moon phase from January the 12th to the 17th. And the moon is passing through Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces and Aries. And the feel good factor of the new moon is really continuing, bringing the most gorgeous energetic theme of positivity rules okay. Now, as the moon moves into Aquarius, the lunar influence is really inviting renewal and rebirth, followed by a very distinct series of kind of pro progressive steps in the flow of the energy. And this culminates in a space of real karmic potential. I'm just gonna run through these, but you know, I also need to let you know that we have a monumental void of course period between the 13th and the 14th of January when the moon then moves from Aquarius into Pisces. This is 17 and a half hours long, so seriously long. Now, this is the kind of steps that we're seeing here. If it no longer serves you, then let go gracefully. Dream of possibility and open yourself to receive guidance. Then with heightened awareness, be proactive. Remain grounded and read the signs. Simultaneously, go with the flow, taking decisive actions with conscious responsiveness. So this is the kind of flow of energy. It's fast paced. There's lots happening. But if you kind of follow these steps and just immerse yourself in this transformational energy, uh, I think it can really, really work for you. 
the moon then reaches her first quarter position on January the 18th in Taurus. The lunar energy at the quarter moon positions always offers us a natural space of review and evaluation. And to be honest, the energy is really buoyant on this day. It's supporting rebirth with massive potentials for expansion, fueled by renewed optimism, hope and positivity. I mean, it's staggeringly gorgeous. In fact, I would say the energy feels so positive, there could be a potential that you might just relax and just enjoy what feels like a breath of fresh air. But I kind of feel that this would rather be an opportunity that's lost to you. If we think of the end of January as setting the pace for the coming year, it seems absolutely crazy not to seize the day, joyously embrace the moment, and you know, at the very least, create a vision board that focuses on your key hopes and dreams for the coming year. The moon then moves into her waxing gibbous moon phase from January the 19th to the 24th, passing through Taurus, Gemini and Cancer. Now, during this moon phase, the lunar energy is actually gathering momentum and the overall astrodynamics are most definitely heating up. The flow of energy suggests potential change, but also potentially through upheaval around the 19th and the 20th. But this is coming with a view to making adjustments through real actions. The 21st and the 22nd feel really emotional. And so this could feel emotionally high or emotionally low, or even a bit of both, depending on your own unique circumstances. And then on the 23rd and the 24th, the energy heats up again. Now, this is suggesting, I think, during this moon phase that things are moving well, could really gain traction and seriously rock it forwards. On the other hand, if there's anything that isn't going well, it could feel a bit frustrating. So I always think be prepared and as always, just navigate with awareness. Now, literally, as the moon leaves Cancer and moves into the full moon position on January the 25th, so this is between the 24th and the 25th, we have an eight and a half hour void of course period. So this is worth just watching out for this because I think if things are flooding and moving forwards joyously, you're just going to feel as though nothing is stopping you. But if things are feeling a little bit jarred or they're not quite working as you would like them to, you could just need to centre yourself and anchor yourself. The full moon is always a time when the energy heats up. So, and this is a full moon in Leo. So let's talk about this. The full moon is in Leo on the 25th and 26th of January. Let me bring up the full moon global timings for you. Again, you should be able to work out what the timings are for your location from this selection of cities across the world. Now, the overall dynamics of this full moon in Leo feel powerful, big and bold, but also with an underlying flavour of destiny. It's really interesting. Fate and destiny feel as though they're present. Now, a full moon in Leo naturally invites you to embrace exactly where you are right here and right now. And the lunar influence today could well show you exactly what you need to see to make big, bold, courageous life choices. You could get signs, signals, um, synchronicities, conversations and events around you just bringing incredibly interesting and clear information. So firmly align yourself with your core spiritual values because the universe wants you to grow and the universe wants you to succeed. And even if the energy is a bit intense, the winds of change are flowing with a higher purpose in mind. So use this opportunity to celebrate everything you've achieved to date whilst also making a note of everything that you're shown on this day. The moon then enters her disseminating or waning gibbous phase from January the 26th through to February the 1st, passing through Leo, Virgo, Libra and into Scorpio. Now, throughout this moon phase, there is a very distinctive underlying strength in the overall dynamics. However, this is softened by the diminishing lunar flow. Now, before we delve into this, I also need to say there are some significant void of course periods. So let me run through those first. Now, between the 26th and 27th, when the moon moves from Leo into Virgo, we have a 22 hour void of course period. I mean, this is huge. On the 29th to the 30th, when the moon moves from Virgo into Libra, we have an eight and a half hour void of course period. 
And then on February the 1st, when the moon moves from Libra into Scorpio, we have an 11 and a half hour period. So these are quite significant. Now, Uranus, who is sometimes known as the Great Awakener, stations direct on the 27th. This happens to coincide with a spike of greater intensity in the flow of incoming energy, and this carries through to the 28th. Now, this is potentially bringing very helpful realizations to light, and the 30th and 31st have this flavor of destiny coming through again, unfolding emergence and breakthroughs. So, rather than being swept along by the potential intensity of the energy, be sure to take time to reflect because if this is channeled into constructive actions, this flow of energy could really result in significant progress, even if it's only in you knowing exactly what to do next. Now, this moon time, of course, concludes with the Earth festivals of Imbolc in the Northern Hemisphere and Lamas in the Southern Hemisphere. These are both festivals of fertility and promise. So the energy is really set and primed to help you to get on track one way or the other. The moon then reaches her last quarter moon phase uh, between February the 2nd and February the 3rd, and this is in Scorpio. Now, following on from these January shifts and transformations and the potential breakthroughs of the previous moon phase, the dynamics of this last quarter moon are actually ultra flowing. They're bringing balance and harmony. There's a call to address inequality, to put wrongs to right. Forgiveness can be present. So seize the moment and use this very supportive and yet deeply an honest lunar influence to align yourself and all aspects of your life with your higher values and everything that you wish to both see and be in the world. The moon then enters her balsamic moon or waning crescent moon phase. This is the last moon phase before we then get to the next new moon. This is running from February the 4th to the 8th and the moon is passing through Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn and into Aquarius. Now, the overall lunar influence of this phase continues this sort of theme of addressing imbalance and in real and practical ways may potentially bring some very clear information to support your progress. Now, during this period, there is a really interesting mix of forward flowing motion interspersed with some really strong spikes of energy. So lean into this dynamic and stuff that's moving forwards is going to be just rocketed. But if anything isn't running smoothly, trust that the universe most definitely has your back. And if it's not running smoothly, it's because guidance is trying to arrive to steer your course in the best possible direction. We also happen to have a couple of void of course periods on February the 6th, when the moon moves from Sag Sagittarius into Capricorn, there's a seven hour void of course period. And then on February the 8th, when the moon moves from Capricorn into Aquarius, we have a six hour void, of course, period. So beautiful souls, I hope you've enjoyed that moon month overview. It's very happening and very dynamic. Let's look at some cards and runes for all of the zodiac signs for this period. Welcome Aries, let's draw some angel cards for you and some runes. You have the three of Michael, Release the past. You will grow from this situation. Time heals all wounds. Okay, what is this about for my lovely Aries? I see you letting go of something. Seeing this card. Two of Ariel. Two hearts de dedicated to creating something wonderful. Kindred spirits. Don't give up on those you love. Aries, if you have been damaged or wounded in love or in a connection with someone. This moon month is looking to give you an opportunity to heal. This will either be because you meet someone new or because you are able to come back together after a disagreement or a discordant problem. Now, I think that this, something that hasn't been okay, that's already happened, has been dominating your world or dominating your thought patterns. And this is the message that's coming through for you for, for this moon month. 10 of Gabriel, ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load, working too many hours, trying too hard to please others. 
I think some of you, if something in your personal world has dominated the scene and you've really been struggling with that, almost to move away from it in your, in your head, in your mind, or to work out how to resolve it, maybe you have been working overtime to work out how to fix this, uh, it's time to kind of, I sort of want to say lighten up. I think some of you may have thrown yourselves into work to counterbalance what this was feeling like. And of course, if you throw yourself into work, of course, it helps us to navigate those really difficult emotions. But you know, on the other hand, it can also mean that there isn't room actually for something new to come back into your world. I'm seeing this card bringing two, two very distinct messages. That is one of them. And the second message is of you trying too hard to fix something, taking on the responsibility of it, feeling like you were the one that must have caused it to go wrong. And this is really acknowledging that that wasn't the case. This is a moon month where you are being advised to seriously cut yourself some slack. Let the past go. You know, what's done is done and you can't change it. So rather than going over and over it, um, kind of free yourself from that. Make a commitment to living your world in a balanced way. And then I think a resolution is going to arrive either with somebody who comes into a space where you can work at this together or find a resolution or alternatively, I think what you'll find is somebody new coming in. Ask your angels for helpful people. Someone new coming in who really helps to heal what has been done. Draw a rune for each of these cards. We have... Rado, the rune of journey. We have um, the rune of signals, Anzus, and we have the spiritual warrior. Okay, um, Tewaz. Now, what we're seeing with these runes, um, with the rune of Rado, really, this is about journeying away from something. Now, some of you might even consider physically moving, relocating. Literally, it's like a change of scene or going somewhere different. Go on a journey, take a break, have a change of scene that enables you to shift your energy from where you've been to kind of in alignment with where you would like to be. Remember, this is a moon month, which kind of sets the pace for the coming year. So it's a tremendously important time for us in terms of what we do consciously. This is why I think you have Tewaz, the spiritual warrior, really asking you to take charge of your world, take charge of your schedule. With the signals rune, honestly, synchronicities, signs, symbols, what this is telling me, especially sitting on the two of Raphael, if you make the space for something new to come into your world, like that needs that means your head space and energetically then the universe can orchestrate to make this happen but you've kind of got to be available to receive so whether you are still feeling a bit wounded a bit hurt or whether you are just working overtime to compensate or whether you're just working overtime to try and fix everything when you simply need to just step away from it um, that needs to sort of ease. It's almost like your own, if you think of your own energy as a pie chart, and a lot of your energy is still bound up in either managing this or trying to make it work or trying to fix it or how much it hurt or any of those things. If a large amount of your energy in your pie chart is taken up with that stuff, you're not free to move forwards. You're not free to receive the new. I think the new is coming providing you can make availability to receive it. So really important moon month, my beautiful souls. Let's just draw a moon card and see what else we are shown here for you. May we have a card to give an indication or guidance for my beautiful Aries, please. May we please have a card for Aries. Yes, adjustments are required. Um, you, you really are needing to stop and, and really almost like t take a, 
a significant check of of your own energy, of your own thoughts, your internal thoughts. You know, I have to admit, the very first time I made a real conscious effort to listen to my own internal dialogue, I was actually horrified. I really will be completely honest about that. I had no idea, even though I consider myself to be a really positive person, Man, there was so much drivel in my head, often largely going over the past and stuff that I couldn't fix, but felt that I should have been able to fix it or I wanted to fix it. And I had to really seriously be quite firm with myself about actually putting that stuff down. And I feel there's something of that energy around you. Now, clearly Aries, this is just the, the sort of almost like the priority message from spirit for you for this moon month. And, you know, these are your cards and your runes. I will be doing an in-depth reading on Patreon, as I've already mentioned, and you're very welcome to join me over on Patreon if you wish. Um, I've spoken a little bit about that at the beginning. Um, it does work on donations. You can give as little or as much as you want, and there are no tie-ins. But the big All Zodiac Sign readings are available over there for the entire moon month if you'd like to look more deeply at the coming energy. But this is really the priority energy, and this will influence every aspect of your world. Beautiful Aries, tons and tons and tons of love to you. I look forward to seeing you for some other readings really soon. Um, beautiful souls, have an amazing moon month. Hey, beautiful Taurus, what is happening for you this moon month? What are we being shown? What do the angels wish to tell you? Okay, so we have one card, two card, and I am seeing this. I'm actually seeing four for you. Let's go with this. So your cards are 10 of Gabriel. Ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load. Working too many hours, trying too hard to please others. We have the High Priestess. Powerful psychic insights, reflection and meditation that provides valuable information, be at peace. Okay, we have peace. <laughs> you couldn't write it, could you? Release the past. There is a more enriching future coming. Let go. It just says let go and let God, but I'm guessing it should be something like and let God be your guide. Archangel Azrael. And then we have Queen of Michael, brilliant, self-reliant, insightful, humorous. You know exactly what to do, the benefit of experience, a time for your career rather than relationships. Okay, I am seeing you working incredibly hard during this moon month. And in one way, maybe your focus will be your career rather than your personal relationships. It needs to not be at the expense of your relationships. I'm seeing quite a lot of pressure on you work-wise. And your reading is sort of saying, look, you're perfectly capable of achieving what you're trying to achieve, okay? Now, if this reading is not resonating with you, if it's not connecting, you're thinking, well, I don't think I've got that busy a time at work, there may be something else that you're working on or working through. So, you know, but, but I feel there's something quite practical, quite physical. It would be like if you were moving house, for example, and then you're trying to do all of that organizing on top of your normal everyday working life. It, it, there's something that requires a lot of your physical energy or your, your time. Now, you can achieve this, this moon month, and it is interesting because it's setting a, a kind of a foundation stone for the coming month. We know that's what the energy is all about in this moon month. It's very pivotal. But there is a need to try and hold a really peace, sort of peaceful state of mind as you navigate this, because our mindset really does influence and affect almost like our energy levels. Like if we approach something with a view of really, this is really hard work and I've got to get through it and uh, you can sort of almost hear it in my voice. And then that's the energy that's physically affecting you as opposed to, wow, I've got a lot to do, but hey, I know I can do it. You know, I'm gonna take this one step at a time. I'm gonna take out, you know, take little five minute peace breaks during the day every now and then just to like chill myself out and come back to it fresh. It's like just really approaching this in such a, a positive, amazing way. I think you'll kind of breeze it as opposed to 
um, be overloaded by it. It's almost as though what needs to be achieved can be achieved, but the way that you approach it will affect whether you breeze it and flow through it, the same, the same results, um, or whether you um, enjoy every second um, or, or you make it hard work and it becomes a struggle. It's that kind of um, that kind of opposites, and we're being shown here. This is sort of like dependent upon your perspective and your approach. You draw a rune for each of these cards. So for pile for pile one, <laughs> I've been doing too many bigger card readings. So for with ten of Gabriel, we have the rune of initiation. Okay, right. This is significant. We then have the blank rune with the high priestess. We have the Ray Gen of uh, the blah, blah, start again. We have the rune of Rado Journey for the card of peace, mm. and we have Hagalas. Yes, yeah, so so something is shifting and changing. With Hagalas is, is sometimes known as the rune of disruption, but basically, yes, there's a lot to achieve here. Hagalas can have an energy where we feel like ooh, you know something has to give now you're you can literally come through this you can sail through this with the rune of journey everything is about holding a really peaceful outlook as you approach this um what we're seeing here though with initiation perth and the blank rune is this really is, it's like laying, you're laying a foundation stones. Whatever you're doing is going to have an impact on the shape of the rest of your year. And therefore, this is really worthy of your investment. This is the predominant energy coming through for you this moon month, the guidance, the information, my lovely Tauruses. Just going to draw a moon card for you as well. And before we complete this reading, yes, you are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. Now, very interesting because the energy of Virgo, Virgo people are very, very hardworking. If you are a Virgo and you're listening, you know this. You're very good at paying attention to the detail. You're very diligent. You're very hardworking. You're very dedicated. So that Virgo energy is amazing to have around you. However, Virgos, beautiful souls, you can pick yourselves to pieces as well. You can get very overly critical. You can get into that, oh, I'm not good enough. I'll never achieve this. So this card is totally reinforcing the whole of your message here, actually. My beautiful Tauruses, this needs to be approached from a really, with a really positive mindset. No picking yourself to pieces. In fact, let's just place this here. Don't pick yourself to pieces. Don't criticize yourself. Be diligent. Be steady. Um, pay attention to the details. Be methodical. You will achieve this. And my goodness me, it will set a foundation stone for the rest of your year. Tauruses, this is your reading. Um, if you're interested in a more in-depth, sort of bigger perspective, um, my bigger all, you know, my bigger readings, as I mentioned, are on Patreon. Patreon works on the basis of donations, so you can give as little or as much as you wish, and you can dip in and out. You're not obliged to commit to it forever. So if you are interested in the bigger readings, do check them out. Tauruses, have an amazing moon month. Hey, beautiful Gemini, let's see what is happening for you in this moon month. Mm, I'm actually seeing this card for you as well. Okay, let's look at these angel cards. You have Epiphany, Archangel Raziel, joy through spiritual growth, be a light to others, answers that come through meditation. We have the Five of Ariel, oh bless, you needn't go through your current challenges alone, help is nearby, negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies. And eight of Michael, you can be free. Make a courageous choice to change your situation, not seeing things clearly. Lovely Geminis. Right. I feel there is the potential for a real shift for you here. There is clearly something that is weighing heavily on your mind. And... This is what is coming through as almost, it's like a top priority message. When something is really weighing on your mind, then it tends to sort of color everything else, doesn't it really? Now, 
I do feel an epiphany can come, that there can be a real shift, something arriving that can open a doorway for you, freeing you from something. Now, you don't have to go through your current challenges alone. Help is nearby. Okay, I am actually going to just draw a couple more. Let's draw some moon cards for you. I want to know how this epiphany is arriving. May we have a little bit more information. I mean, this is going to bring clarity. Don't get pride, get, don't let pride get in your way. Okay, right. Okay, there is something, a situation where I sort of feel like you're having to take and admit something to yourself here. You know, maybe something didn't work out or something went wrong or, or you, you've been upset by something, but you haven't felt you can talk about it. Now, you needn't go through your challenges alone. We have the Rune of Initiation, Perth, sitting with the Epiphany. Lovely. We have the Rune of Signs, Signals. Wonderful. This is Anzus. Fabulous. You needn't go through this alone. We have the Eight of Michael. Oh, wonderful. This is fabulous. This is the Rune of Possessions, Nourishment, Fehu. This speaks of like almost um, unexpected surprises, rewards and gains. All right, I'm feeling reassured for you, Gemini. I was sort of wondering what this energy was about. Right, I think what's going to happen is that currently there is something that you are, it's weighing heavily on your mind. I think there'll be a light bulb moment that comes to you and it's going to enable you to to shift your perspective to change your viewpoint on something and that's going to free you from something now this is a general reading uh, my bigger in-depth readings are on patreon and um, i'll say a little bit about this at the end of your reading for anyone wanting to check them out but what i am seeing is something is actually going to be shown to you your reading is inviting you to be very alert to synchronicities, to signs, to signals, to symbols. If you find that you're seeing certain numbers showing up consistently, then, and if you're not familiar with numerology, then check them out. Look at the symbolism of those numbers. What are they telling you? You're going to be given, with the Rune of Perth, a pathway through this. A gateway is going to be opened for you. There will be an answer or a solution. So don't let pride get in your way. Don't cling. If, if you've been journeying on a particular pathway and, and it's really overloading you, don't let pride get in the way because doorways are being opened for you. We've got a doorway here. We've got a gateway here. Your spirit team are seriously rooting for you. Now, I feel like you're, you're probably feeling as if you're in quite a dark place. But honestly, the light at the end of the tunnel is coming. A gateway is open. You can be free. But you do have to have the courage to step through it. And this is a real, this is your key message that's coming through, my lovely Geminis. You know, in a way, there's... You know, the universe can offer you a doorway, but you have to choose to walk through it. I think an opportunity or a solution will be given to you. Let, let's say you've become, this is a hypothetical example, but I think it's an, just a way of giving an example. If you have become a little bit isolated, and let's say you, I don't know, let's say you've moved and you haven't really gelled with a new community or you haven't felt confident enough to reach out, and then you pop to the local store and you see, I don't know, an advertisement on the store window for a yoga class and the place you used to live, you used to do yoga and you loved it, but you just haven't, you know, you've landed, you've been unpacking boxes, it's been chaos, but you're feeling really isolated and, and you have a big wobble about, you know, shall I join the course or not? Um, and, you know, it might not be what I'm looking for, it might not be as good as the friends I had before. Um, this is saying, you know, actually reach out and do it because it will bring you what you want. It's like being shown something in an area of your world where you're feeling 
stuck or in the dark or but you need to have the courage to take that step and this is the energy of your reading for this moon month. You know, don't, don't sort of talk yourself out of it, talk yourself into it. And this is the flow of energy. I am going to draw just one more card for you actually from the Akashic Tarot. These are the cards I'm starting the bigger in-depth readings with. So I'm just going to draw a card from here and see what we're shown. But we've got two coming through here. Okay. We have Hilarion and the Increscent Moon. Now both kind of came out in reverse, but it is interesting. I'm going to place them in the upright position so you can see them. And let me, in fact, let me show you these cards. Now Hilarion is a card that says you're going to be guided. You know, there is teaching, learning, there's learning from an, an, an opportunity to step up rather than down. And the Increscent Moon is telling you that there is something that you can work at that will come to fruition. There's an opportunity here for some sort of new beginning. Both of them came out in reverse, which would suggest maybe a reticence on your part. Or, you know, if you're feeling a bit down in the dumps, not seeing something, not seeing the signs and synchronicities as they're being shown to you. So there's a huge opportunity for you here. And I think you'll get the results very quickly. If, if even in the context of your world, the thing that is predominant is something, maybe you had an argument with somebody or a falling out with someone. Well, you know, don't let pride get in your way. It's time, you know, if someone offers you an olive branch, then rather than sort of feeling stubborn about it, seize the moment because, you know, you might be reticent, but at the end of the day, much can come from this if you are prepared to do that or to speak out in some way. Lovely Geminis, this is your reading. Um, you're welcome to join me for the deep dive, the in-depths. I'm actually going to start with these two cards in your um, in-depth reading on Patreon. But hopefully this is giving you the guidance you need to navigate your month from a position of awareness. And you're welcome to join me over there for those readings if you wish. Um, what I will say is Patreon works on the basis of donations. It's not a free site, but you can give as little or as much as you wish. And there are no tie-ins, no opt-ins. You can join and then, um, you know, um, resign immediately if you wish. That's completely fine. There are no, you know, you, but you can obviously check out all of the All Zodiac Sign readings there if you wish to. Gemini, this looks to be a very pivotal month for you in something very important because this is going to open doorways for you that lead to very sweet results. So, but of course it is down to you. I can see you're in a space where you've, uh, you know, something is, is feeling as though it's hard, hard potentially for you. I'm so, so sorry, but I am seeing fabulous results for you. If you are prepared to step through that doorway, when if a window of opportunity presents itself and you're prepared to go for it, have that courage, then this is going to shift very quickly for you. Tons of love, my beautiful Geminis. Hello, my lovely Cancers. What is happening for you, or what are we going to be shown for you for this coming moon month? Your first card, Four of Raphael. Seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions. Well, my beautiful Cancers, you are very emotional beings. So that is interesting. What is this about? Let's ask for more guidance, more information and see what channels through for you. I am seeing this card as well. Two of Raphael, two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful. Kindred spirits, don't give up on those you love. Mm, this is very interesting, my beautiful Cancers. Okay, I'm seeing both of these cards, so we're going to go with both. Let's move these along because we're going to need a little bit of room for you. We have Four of Gabriel, time for celebration, abundant rewards for hard work, release yourself from burdensome situations, and then we have the wheel. New beginnings, end of delays, a change in direction that offers happiness. Wow. My lovely Cancers. I think that you're at a really significant turning point now that globally the energy is at a really interesting turning point. And this whole moon month is really 
orientating us if we choose to focus on the energy for the coming year. I'm seeing something really, really magical, like a spark coming into your life. Now, because it's a general reading, I don't want to just rush into the relationship energy that we're seeing here, but it is present. Two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful, time for a celebration. This can indicate an engagement, a commitment to something, a commitment to the journey. And you have the wheel, new beginnings, the end of delays. But because it's a general reading, we need to really think about how this energy applies to all of you. What I am seeing is that coming from a place where I think you have been feeling as though you've struggled to see maybe possibility, you've been struggling to see quite which direction to move forwards in or what way to go in next, or you haven't been able to feel that something you're investing in is kind of going to work out. We're now seeing something begin to shift and move forwards and we're seeing like a, I want to say a clarity of direction in some way, shape or form, whether this is relationship, work, your work, your purpose, your calling. And this is coming because you are connecting in a really powerful and positive way. I want to say with the right, either the right person or the right people, or even a reconnection. But I do feel Raphael, the angel of Raphael is sometimes... I mean, sometimes the energy of Raphael is just about the energy of healing and transformation and moving things forwards for you. But Raphael does sometimes come into our lives in the, the sort of the guise of another human being. And I am seeing the potential really here for the, it's like the right person arriving at the right time or the right people arriving at the right time. And this is going to significantly create the end of a period of delay or a change in direction that is really right for you. Let's draw some runes. This is lovely, my lovely cancers, because I do feel you've been struggling to sort of see the magic in life or to feel or almost like you've been, um, feels a bit like you've been wading through treacle or, or just working really hard and it, it, to stand still. And we go through phases like that sometimes. Wonderful. We have um, Fehu. This is the rune of nourishment, of possessions, of actually it's a rune of abundance in whatever area of your world, unexpected um, surprises, rewards, gains. So I'm seeing a very big significant shift. I feel like this reading is coming in to give you hope and to, to really help you to know that something that has been stuck is no longer going to be stuck. We have the rune of joy, absolutely. This is seriously the right person or the right people coming at the right time for you. Yes, protection. We have the rune of protection, that's just gorgeous. Um, now the rune of protection, Algis, it asks us to manage our emotions and that includes the highs as well as the lows. So just, I, I think something that's coming in, is coming into your world that's going to create a shift. And I think it's going to make your heart sing. There is a suggestion here that you might really want to just stop and smell the roses and enjoy before then moving on into a new phase, a new chapter of your world. We have Burkana, the rune of growth. This is a new phase, a new chapter of your world. I mean, it, it couldn't be clearer. You couldn't kind of write that one really, could you? Let's get a moon card just to see what, you know, how this is sort of rubber stamped for you almost. What are we seeing here? There is your moon card. A win-win outcome is forecast. My lovely Cancers, I actually feel like you've been I would say going through a rough time. For some of you, maybe it will have been a rough time, but I do feel it has felt as if like nothing's really been moving forwards. It's all been very static, very um, almost feeling like, as I said, that you've been working hard to stand still. Everything's felt a bit stationary. And 
This is a moon month when there is an incredible shift and a turnaround in something with a new phase and a new chapter coming in. And I think it will be instigated by literally by other people, either a person or a group of people, the right person or people showing up at the right time. This reading is really coming in to offer you so much reassurance and to let you know that there is a real shift in the energy, an upturn in the energy for you in this moon month. My beautiful Cancers, I am sending you so, so much love. I love the energy of your reading. It really does feel like after a period of stationary static, gosh, where the hell is this going? Um, it, you move into a point where everything starts to emerge and evolve. And there's a lot of happiness and joy here. Beautiful, beautiful energy. If you're interested in doing a, a deeper dive into the moon month to get more information, about the coming month, how it's going to flow. I will be doing my bigger readings, or I am doing my bigger readings on Patreon. It is a, a site that works on donations. You can give as little or as much as you want, and you can duck, duck, dip in and dip out. I was going to say duck in, duck out. You can join and leave and do whatever you want. There are no commitments over there. Um, if you sign up, you can cancel at any time. But um, I will do the bigger readings there. If you're interested, you're very welcome to join us. But this is lovely for you, Cancer. It really is. Tons of love and I look forward to seeing you in some other readings really soon. Hey, my lovely Leos, what are we shown for you for this moon month? You have four of Gabriel, time for a celebration. Oh, this is fab. Abundant rewards for hard work. Release yourself from burdensome situations. Leo, I'm loving your energy. I'm actually seeing this card as well. We have decision. Archangel Jophiel, release yourself from that which holds you back. And we've got this as well. Release yourself from burdensome situations. A need to detox, unnecessary worry based on a lack of self-confidence. Okay, my beautiful souls, what else are we shown? May we please have more information. I think it is this card here showing itself to us. Six of Ariel. Material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways. Acts of kindness, giving or receiving with a grateful heart. Wow. Okay. This looks as though I, I sort of feel like you're not entirely at ease with something, but it looks like it's really going to sort itself out, my beautiful Leos. Now, my beautiful Leos, if you've just tuned into this reading and you haven't listened to the Moon Month update, which of course is completely your choice and your decision, <coughs> you will not perhaps know that we have uh, an amazing full moon in Leo during this Moon Month. And it's got a real flavour of destiny about it. You know, those kind of moments when stuff is just shown to you so you know exactly when, what to do, when to do it, how to do it. So this is pretty powerful. You're being asked to release yourself from something here and you're also being shown that if there are any material or money concerns about creating a shift or allowing yourself the right or the freedom to do something that you love, that somehow stuff is going to come in and fall into place in a way that enables you to do stuff, to take it forwards. Your Reading is really, really interesting, my beautiful Leos. I'm fascinated by this energy of needing to free yourself from something and of exactly what you need coming at exactly the right time. And yeah, abundant rewards for hard work, material needs get fulfilled. I sort of feel this is like one of those readings when if you were plugging away at something, somehow suddenly you get noticed or it gets seen or you get given an unexpected bonus or something is validated, acknowledged. And But it's, it's done in real terms. It's not just someone saying, well done you, this is amazing. It's like, well done you and let me make a donation to you or um, you know, or can I give you a bonus or can I, you, you know, you're only charging this much. You should be charging more. Let me pay you double. It, it's got this sort of flavor about it. Let's draw some runes for you. Your first rune is the rune of fertility. How fascinating. 
Now, Inga's the rune of fertility. This is a rune of promise. It's a rune of, of fruitfulness yet to come. It also suggests that we, we sort of tie up loose ends or we complete something. So, so something comes to fruition, with, which is loaded with even more promise, but it comes, it, it's like fertilizing the ground for your own deliverance. Okay, so I'm seeing that there will be a need to, this is the, the bit, release yourself from burdensome situations. There'll be a need to sort of wrap up certain things in order to almost like liberate yourself from certain ties. So you're then free to ultimately receive the abundance that is wanting to come to you. We then have the rune of flow. Okay, now this is a very interesting energy coming in, Lagos, because this is about things that do just flow into place. They gather momentum. Yeah, there's something that will gather momentum if you release your concerns, your fears, your worries. It's almost as if the energy of concern and fear is, is in itself holding you back. And then we have Perth, the rune of initiation. This is like a gateway almost, or a rite of passage. It's an elevation. Something is going to up your game. Um, but I don't feel it's necessarily upping your game in like being given a promotion. It's, it's like upping your game in terms of elevating your energy, your resources, your happiness, your self-esteem. This is the flavor of your reading. Something coming in to just, yeah. Do you know what's coming through here with this decision? Um, decide to be happy now. Give yourself absolute permission to let go of any concerns, any worries. Something's coming to fruition. Maybe you've just been struggling to bring it forth or you've been struggling to make a decision. This is a general reading. And so, you know, the the energy, the essence of this will affect you in your own unique ways. But this is a great moon month for you, Leo. Something comes, something does come into fruition. It flows into being. Possibly something you've either been deliberating about, procrastinating about, wondering about. I, I think it moves forwards. If there's something, yeah, look at this. A win-win outcome is forecast. Okay, how beautiful. Yeah, Leo, this is a stunning month for you. Now, I, I will be doing bigger, the, the big deep dive extended readings over on um, Patreon. Um, it, it's a site that works on donations. You can give as little or as much as you wish and, you know, jump in and stay or jump in and go. You know, there, there's no commitments there. Um, so you're welcome to join me for those. But, you know, seriously, Leo, this is a really... Um, lovely moon month for you. What I feel is something, something that has been holding you back. It will be unique in your own world uh, and to your circumstances. It could be a physical something, literally a restriction. If you have been struggling with an illness of any sort, you, you this is you'll regain your health. It's like your energy will rise again. If you've been wanting to leave a situation, but you haven't felt you had the resources, then some act of generosity or something unexpectedly arrives to help you to do that. Um, if you have been pontificating or procrastinating, somehow it's like you get given what you need to be able to move something forwards. Everything here is about liberating you from something that has held you back, whether it is internal, those inner beliefs or an external circumstance and to move this forward. So, um, and, and in quite unexpected magical ways. Beautiful Leo, this is your reading. Um, it looks to be an amazing moon month. You're welcome to join me for the bigger extended readings if you wish. Tons of love and have a super amazing moon month. I, if, if you feel at the beginning that something isn't happening, I suspect by the time you get to that full moon, you'll be given exactly what you need in order to actually shift and see this sort of evolutionary, um, yeah, literally this pivotal shift in the energy around you. 
wonderful Leos, tons of love and I look forward to seeing you for some other readings really soon. Hey beautiful Virgos, welcome to your reading. Let's see what the cards are showing you for this moon month. I'm seeing these two cards coming out first. We have Eight of Gabriel and Knight of Gabriel. Okay, um, this is a happening energy. This is a seriously happening energy. A great deal of activity, sudden and immediate results, important communication, time to take action, great passion for a cause, instinctively knowing what to do. You guys are going to have a busy month. That's what I'm seeing. I mean, if this is setting the pace for your uh, for your energy this month, then stuff is seriously, seriously happening for you. Something is moving forwards. Whatever this means for you, there'll be something in your world that is, I'm, I'm guessing it's quite a big element of your world. To have two such fast paced cards coming through, yeah, something is moving forwards, whatever that may mean for you. You'll know what this is, I think. I don't think this is something new, although it could be. Let's see what else we have. Eight of Michael, you can be free. Make a courageous choice to change your situation. Um, this card can indicate not seeing things clearly, but you know, in all, all honesty, the energy around you, Virgo, is about stuff is happening, doorways are being opened for you, something can move forwards, your situation, your circumstances, I would even say for some of you, your state of mind, but something is going to, uh, what am I wanting to say, open, it's, it's basically, a, there is a doorway open for you. Now, what I'm kind of hearing is that circumstances may ha be happening, now, I've got, I've got like two two different pathways I'm being shown in front of me. One is a pathway for those of you who are already moving something forwards. You've already put stuff in motion and it's going to gather momentum. It's going to happen. It's going to move. Um, you're just going to love it. You're just, your feet won't touch the ground, but hey, that's brilliant. It's what you want. The other pathway is stuff happening that feels like maybe it's a little bit out of your control but the purpose of it is to give you an opportunity to do something or for something to move forwards. So if anything is going on around you that feels like it's a little bit hard work or heavy going, um, the purpose of it is to shake you out of something, out of a rut or to help you to course correct or even change course differently. It's basically here to free you from something. So those are the two kind of pathways. Either way, the energy is motoring for you. I feel like your feet aren't going to touch the ground, my lovely Virgos. Let's draw some runes. Your first is Burkana. Oh, this is a beautiful energy. This is like a, a new phase of life, a new chapter of life. And this is represented by the birch tree. And it's the birch tree is the first tree to seed itself after a forest fire. I, I walked on some, it's a beautiful place that I walk on in the area that I grew up in um, or for a part of my childhood, a big part of my childhood. And there's a lot of uh, common ground sand, it's very sandy soil with a lot of birch trees growing there. And there was an area when I walked there that had obviously had a fire, which can happen. And it, it was absolutely true. All these birch tree seedlings were coming up um, they, were, they were the first trees to reseed themselves. They're, it's like the beginning of a forest. It's the beginning of life again. So something is offered to you. It's, it, it's going to actually happen. I feel this is going to happen. I've almost got the energy here of the, of the tower a little bit where stuff is basically going to happen. It's going to change. It's going to move forwards. It's going to happen. And it's freeing you, it's liberating you from a circumstance that has not really been quite right, whether it's a mindset or an actual happening, it could be a relationship, it could be a working environment, it could be where you live, anything like that. But something is moving forwards here. Yeah, Kano, the rune of openings. This is a new dawn. This is, again, this is fast tracked, it's clear direction. You know, I, I don't think that your world is going to be in any way um, standing still and sort of loaded with relaxation and contemplation, my lovely Virgos. I think stuff is happening for you. 
this moon month, but it's all coming to free you from a certain situation and move things forwards. And we have the rune of, mo of movement. Mem this is the gathering of momentum. This is AWAS. I mean, wowza. Seriously, wow. It's movement. It's happening. Uh, I don't know what else to say to you, Virgo. This is, um, the, en this is the energy that is around you. And um, I, what I will say is if you're feeling like events are happening that are kind of pushing you into having to make choices and decisions, the honest truth is these choices and decisions are here to free you and to take you into a direction that is going to be so much better for you because these runes are really fortuitous. They're really, really good, positive runes. The energy here is very positive. Um, you know, it's like stuff stuff happens because um, it had to happen because something needed to change. It's why it's got this sort of tower energy around. Um, yeah, don't let your past hold you back. You have the south node. How interesting. I wanted to just draw you this moonology card before we um, complete your reading. This is a time to look forwards, not back. You know, the South Node is kind of where you've come from. Something in your past, something of what has happened is no longer serving you. And the energy for you, my beautiful Virgos, is literally all about shifting, changing, making stuff happen. In And, and it's going to happen. Uh, it's going to happen because it needs to happen. And it will liberate you from some sort of chapter that's just... Um, kind of really does need to be um, laid to rest and put down. Virgo, this is your reading. This feels so exciting. It really, really does. Now, beautiful souls, I'm, I will be doing a, a bigger deep dive extended reading over on Patreon. If you're wanting to get some more detail, you're welcome to check that out and join me over on that site if you wish to. It's entirely up to you. The energy looks amazing for you. And even if it is a little tough, for some of you, honestly, this is really, the, out, the outcome is going to be superb, I think. this It's like something has to happen here. So really, really gorgeous. Um, Patreon is a site that works on donations. It's not free, um, but you can give as little or as much as you wish. And there are no tie-ins. If you opt in, um, to, you know, to join, um, you can cancel that membership at any time. So there's nothing to, um, there's no, there are no long-term restrictions around it. So if that appeals to you, you're very, very welcome to join me over there. It's a beautiful little community. Um, um, but otherwise, I truly wish you the most amazing moon month, my lovely Virgos. Hey, beautiful Libras, let's see what is shown for you for this moon month. I am seeing this card, this and also this one. What is happening for my beautiful Libras? So we have leap of faith. Wow. Believe in yourself. Listen to your heart. Do what gives you joy. Archangel Metatron. Okay, lovely Libra. Leap of faith, you then have four of Gabriel, time for a celebration, abundant rewards for hard work, release yourself from burdensome situations, followed by the four of Michael, insights that come from quiet meditation, the need for more sleep or time off, seek relief from stress. Okay, so <laughs> this is uh, exciting, beautiful Libra. So there's an opportunity for you to literally leap into something new. There's no question of it. Now, you, you may already know what that is in the context of your personal world. This is a general reading. But beautiful Libras, there is an opportunity for something brand new around you. And I think it will very quickly lead to celebration. I think it, you're, you're going to love it. I think within this moon month, it's going to take hold or take off or happen for you. Now, what I also think is that you might find it a bit stressful to take the leap of faith because it's like taking a risk. For some of you, this connects to loyalty. Now, this, is, this will be a message for some, but not all. This is a general reading. And so, you know, if a message comes through, you need to listen to how it resonates with you in, and your circumstances. Um, it may be that it's a message for someone else. But... If you've been betrayed, I'm seeing this dog with loyalty, if you've been betrayed or 
treated badly in some way to the point where you really, really have almost felt that certain areas of your world you might want to close yourselves to. This is like taking a leap of faith into something and taking a risk to trust someone again, or even taking a risk to trust uh, trust the universe, to trust that actually if you do this, you can do it and it will be okay and you'll be okay. I think you're going to see really fabulous results very quickly to a point where you can kind of genuinely almost like relax enough to enjoy it, to trust that it is right for you, like you're on the right pathway or you've t you made the right decision or taking that leap of faith was worthwhile and you're going to see a result pretty quickly, I think, from this. But I do think it will feel risky for you at some level. Let's draw rings for you. I'm really excited for you, Libra. This feels really exciting. You have the rune of joy, Wunjo. I mean, how magnificent. I almost don't want to say any more than joy, but this is like a new dawn. This really is, uh, I almost want to say what's coming through is like a rescue package. So whereas maybe there's something, something you've begun to sort of feel like something you just couldn't trust that something would ever really come through or work. And this is almost like the evidence that says, oh, yes, it can. Oh, yes, it can. We then have the rune of strength. Beautiful, beautiful energy, Uras. Now, whenever I draw this rune, how interesting, because I actually always feel like it tells me that the universe has my back, okay? that it's just the way these runes personally speak to me. It always tells me the universe has my back. I've made the right decision in something and it's worthy of investment. It's worthy of staying the course, actually. And this is a point of, of almost, a well, it's a celebration, abundant rewards for hard work. So, yeah, I, I honestly think this leap of faith is going to seriously pay off for you. We see with the four of Michael movement. Um, this is lovely. Awas movement, the gathering of momentum. Yes. Now, what you might find, four of Michael, is that. Yeah, you might find that some certain information comes through in your dreams or your meditations to reassure you, um, to assist you, to, to light the way for you. And also, just because, I just think taking a leap of faith can feel a bit stressful. It can press our buttons. And just make sure that you really, really, really take care of you. Like, not just sleep, but actually I'm hearing your, you know, your food, your, because if you, if you don't eat, then your blood sugars go down and you feel more wibbly wobbly emotionally. So this is a really, really big kind of thumbs up to look after you. Big on the self-care here, please, um, because it takes energy to step into new territory, to take a risk. But this is absolutely stunning, Libra. It really is absolutely gorgeous. May we have a, a, another card, really, just to see where this energy is going for my lovely Libras for this month. There is your card. Take time to breathe out. <laughs> Wonderful. Disseminating moon. This is suggesting that this is potentially quite fast paced or fast happening and this doesn't surprise me given the energy here because we're moving from a leap of faith which is Archangel Metatron this is like the card of the fool to a point of, of celebration you know and we're seeing results so I'm seeing something move fast take time to breathe out it's it's like being swept off your feet if this were for, for example a new relationship because maybe you've been let down before or you had um, a partner who was disloyal and someone comes along and you think can I dare to take a leap, leap of faith I mean this is the kind of energy the resonance and you leap in and you feel so wobbly you're expending a ton of energy but it sweeps you off your feet take time to breathe out just make sure that this is really going big on the um, on the self-care again seriously look after you but beautiful Libras I feel like something really magical is unfolding for you now 
If you're interested in doing a deeper dive into an extended reading, that will be over on Patreon. I do my big deep dive all zodiac sign readings over there. This is where we start. Um, you're welcome to join me, but my beautiful Libras, um, this looks to be seriously, seriously stunning in terms of a new opportunity for you, however that lands in your world. Um, just as well for anyone who is new to my, uh, to my channel, Patreon, the other platform where I do my um, readings, it does work on donations. It's not a free channel, but you can give as little or as much as you want, and you're not tied into anything. You can sort of sign up and then sign off if you only want to just check out one extended reading. For those of you that continue, um, obviously the extended readings are there every single moon month, along with a, a ton of other stuff too. Beautiful souls, my wonderful Libras, have an amazing, like seriously amazing moon month. Hey, beautiful Scorpios, let's find out what is happening in your world for this moon month. May we please have information and guidance for my beautiful Scorpios. I'm actually seeing that card, but also there's one just here that's like really singing to me. Let's check these out for you. We have three of Michael. Release the past. You will grow from this situation. Time heals all wounds. We have the moon. Okay, the opportunity to improve your plans. Listen to your intuition for accurate guidance. Face your fears and grow stronger. Okay, we then have... Wow, two sevens. Okay, that's really significant. So, seven of Raphael, time to make a decision. Be clear on what you want and to take action. A need for detoxification. And then seven of Ariel, you have invested wisely, have patience and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. Okay, my lovely Scorpios. This is a very, very interesting set of cards for you. Okay, so what I am seeing here is you're, you're at a turning point. There's an opportunity for you to uh, sort of work out what the next chapter is. Now, it may be that something you have invested in hasn't quite yet come to fruition and some of you may be having a bit of a wobble as to sort of wondering why it hasn't. Now there's there's opportunity here to to, to review. This is really what your reading is, is talking about. There's opportunity to really look at something and really take stock and then formulate how you're going to move forwards, which is very interesting considering the whole energy of this moon month is really very much um, about setting our wishes and intentions for the coming year and then investing in that almost energetically so that we can bring it forth and the universe and spirit really giving us the backing on that. I, I feel for you, Scorpios, that this is a month of, I, I got to say, where reflection and review is seriously going to pay off in terms of your progress and your manifestations, whatever you are manifesting in your world. Something is it's not that you're not on track because we're seeing, you know, have patience and wait for the harvest. It's not that something isn't on track, but it needs tweaking or course correcting, or there's still a bit of baggage attached to from the past that needs to be laid to rest. So, so there's a freedom to move forwards. What are we shown in your rooms? With the three of Michael, we have the rune of gateway. This is so interesting because gateway is... Uh, a rune Therizaz that literally speaks of review, really, of getting still, you, you know, really stand still, look back at where you've come from, lean into the learning from every situation you've ever encountered, really get, get a handle on how you got to be where you are right now, and, and then in a space of gratitude for the learning, step through the gateway and embrace the new. It, it, so, so review, review, review is the name of the game for you, Scorpios. Have a look at what serves you. 
If it doesn't, let it go. Have a look at what serves you. If it is serving you, hold on to it. Look at how you can improve it, how you can better it. This is all about evaluation, review, and moving them moving forwards towards the harvest. So what do we have for your second rune? We have partnership. Okay. Now what this may be indicating for some of you, Gibo, is that, you know, for some of you, this could just connect to some form of relationship, the energy of relationship. And I'm seeing it sitting above this little dog here, that two little dogs in the background. Interestingly enough, they're in the shadows here. How interesting. I'm going to place that in the middle. So with the rune of partnership, Gibo, it's, it's how you work with others that's coming in here as well. What, who to work with, how to, how to collaborate. This is definitely an element of review here. It could indicate connections to personal relationships. It could also indicate connections um, to working alliances or even family, friends. But it's, this is about reviewing and taking stock, not just in a singular way, but how your world is affected by others and how you in turn affect the worlds of others around you. We then have the blank rune, fabulous, sitting with the seven of Raphael. This is the rune of possibility. Be clear on what you want and take action. With this need for detoxification, this, this really is a let go of stuff that doesn't work for you and move beyond it. This is, this is like a permission giving reading, my lovely Scorpios. We then have the rune of Rado journey. Absolutely. Then, then go in the direction you want to. Now, bearing in mind, this is a moon month. I do my readings to the moon months. So about 29 and a half days or thereabouts. I think the review process being shown probably up, up to the full moon, the first two weeks, I think we're being shown a progression here for you, Scorpios. <coughs> Excuse me. I think the first two weeks of this moon month are in that zone of review, of evaluation, seeing, being shown indeed, what, what's working for you and what isn't. And then moving to a space of clear possibility and then taking the steps in practical ways. So like a, I spoke about review, 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 evaluation, reflection. I think that's probably for the first two weeks. And then the second two weeks of this moon month, you're moving into a zone or of kind of really just beginning to then take the steps you need to journey this forwards, to move it forwards. Let's see what else we're showing. Let's draw another card for you. I will be doing my bigger um, all zodiac sign readings, the extended readings over on Patreon if you're wanting to do a, a bigger, deeper dive into this. We have take time to breathe out. I want to say don't panic. Don't, don't be too fixed. That's what the energy is coming through here. Don't panic about making the wrong or the right choices. I actually think if there's a sense of urgency around you in any area of your life, don't panic, my lovely Scorpios. Don't worry about making the wrong or the right decision. Just let it unfold. I think if you're in that zone of review, you'll really be shown what you need to see to then shift this ahead and find the clarity to move forwards. Beautiful Scorpios, this is your moon month reading. Very exciting. I will be doing that bigger deep dive, the extended readings over on Patreon. Patreon works on donations. It's not a free site like YouTube, though there are no advertisements. And um, you can give as little or as much as you want. It's entirely up to you. And you can kind of sign up and then, um, you know, sign down, you know, um, duck out if you wish to. Obviously, if you want to stay on there, that's wonderful and, and keep a contribution going, in which case, obviously, you've got access to all of the All Zodiac Signs um, readings every single month and and tons of other stuff as well, actually. So beautiful souls, um, I am sending you all the love in the world. And yeah, don't forget to not panic and I will see you for some other readings really, really soon. Hey, beautiful Saggies. Let's see what this moon month is promising for you. Oh, I'm seeing those three cards. Let's go for it and see what we are shown. 
So you have the world, 21 Archangel Michael. This is the equivalent of the world in a traditional pack. And look at this, a very happy ending, coming full circle, spiritual growth and insight. We then have the six of Michael. It's the light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans, relocation or travel. And then we have the star. Sagis, this is so positive, but it does feel positive after a storm. That's what I want to say. A dream come true. Archangel Jophiel, believe in yourself, the end of a difficult situation. Yeah, this is really, really singing to me of a completion of something. So much positivity, so much hope. A really, really good outcome to something that has been pretty tough, I think, really. Wow. Sadie is, um, I, I mean, I'm loving the energy here. But yeah, I, I'm really seeing there's been some kind of a, a difficult situation. For some of you, I feel like it came out of the blue, a bit of a curveball. Something you just didn't see coming. Maybe it was something that looked awesome and then it turned out not to be so great. It does feel like it was something possibly a bit unexpected. I'm not saying it won't be a, a long-term bigger thing for some of you, but I, I do feel even in that instance that it would have been almost like a, a something else on top of other things. And you'd have thought, oh, you know, is this ever going to, you know, is this ever going to end? Will I get another thing or another thing or another thing? Um, we're seeing a real sense of completion here. Make new plans and relocation. Some of you genuinely, I think, are considering relocating. And now is a very, very good time to start to get the ball rolling, to start to investigate those possibilities. But something is really reaching a sort of a, a conclusion for you in a very personal way. That's what I'm seeing. Whatever it is for you, something that you felt you had to almost, I don't know, defend yourself against, or maybe even for some of you, you let your guard down. Perhaps your loyalty was tested. But yeah, I, I do feel relatively recently something did sort of like come out of the blue and it literally sort of threw your ship out of the water almost. But this is coming right now. So pretty awesome energy. Let's draw some runes and see what else we're showing, my lovely Sadies. We have the rune of the self, Manas. How interesting. Now, this is effectively the rune of joy split down the middle and split open. And this is a coming full circle. Do you know what I think as well, my lovely Sagis? I mean, you guys, you know, I always think with Sagittarius, you know, integrity is your middle name. I think whatever the curveball was, I think you've you've had to kind of face up to something, maybe face up to... Um, what I would say, your part in it. Uh, you know, I, I don't mean that in a, a shaming, naming, blaming kind of way. But you know, when we, we find ourselves in a situation and one of the most empowering ways of dealing with something is to really think, look, you know, what choices did I make in response to that? And, you know, how can I do, how could I do that differently? I, I feel you've faced something as well here. Could even be some inner kind of demon or inner pattern, but one way or the other, it's concluded. Loving your energy. What a joy that is. What a joy that is. We then have the rune of harvest. Yeah, I think your ship is coming in. Your boat is coming in. It's the light at the end of the tunnel. All that work is about to pay off. All that soul work, that inner work, that integrity, it's about to pay off. Even if you have felt like you've been between a rock and a hard place with something, it's coming to an end. And yeah, a dream is coming true. How interesting. Let's see what we're showing for this. We have the rune of gateway. Okay. How interesting. So a dream coming true. 
Um, I, I will also, I should just say, I will be doing bigger um, extended readings um, on Patreon. That's where I do my big deep dive, um, all zodiac sign readings, as I mentioned actually at the beginning, if you were watching that. But do you know, I, I think a gateway is literally opening for you. Some, something that is leading you. It, it's like you find your direction. And I'm going to say again, your relocation. If you are thinking, Sagis, of moving, then I think you're going to find the place you want to move to. And that gets the ball rolling. I think if you have been going through any challenges in love, you may well find the right person or the right dating site to meet someone or get in the right location to meet someone. There's something about finding your North Star, coming home to yourself, finding that location and whether that location is connecting to who you are inside of yourself or, you know, and your own self-esteem and therefore your own direction or whether it is to an actual circumstance or a place or a situation. This is a turnaround, Sagis. I feel in many ways your reading is really like an affirmation, actually. Though, it, I mean, it, I'd be interested to see what comes through in the extended readings. But what an affirmation, my beautiful souls. And the energy is gaining momentum. How beautiful. Yes. So not only have you reached a conclusion or a circumstance where you're ready to move on, um, you're ready to change, you're ready to shift, but the energy is going to be with you. It is literally the harvest is coming in. Whatever curveball you were thrown, whatever you've been trying to process, it, it's literally, it, it's over. It's done, dusted, been there, done that, bought the t-shirt, my lovely Sages. Whatever that means for you, you'll know what it is. I do feel there was something recently that almost, I can't say it was like, the, I was about to say the icing on the cake, but it's the wrong way around. It's like the last nail in the coffin or the straw that broke the camel's back. Something that kind of acted as a pivotal sort of, do you know what? I'm moving, I'm shifting, I'm doing it differently. Something came in that, that caused that final push which has meant that something is now let go of a whole cycle is now let go of and you are free to bring in the harvest beautiful sages I'm, I'm loving your energy i'm loving your reading for this moon month um i will do a deeper dive um on patreon you're welcome to join me but sages i actually do think this is going to be a fabulous month for you patreon for anyone new to me is a different platform it's not a free platform uh, it, it works on the basis of donations, but you can give as little or as much as you wish. There's no kind of restriction or set price for anything. And, uh, you know, I do a ton of stuff over there. So um, you're welcome to check it out if you wish to. Beautiful souls, I'm sending you all the love in the world. Hey, beautiful Capricorns, what is this moon month heralding for you? I'm seeing these three cards. And also this one. Actually, I'm seeing an extra one for you. I think you've got the most cards we've drawn so far out of this pack. Okay, lovely, lovely Capricorns. Four of Raphael is your first card. Seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions. We have four of Gabriel. How interesting that we have two fours coming out. Four of Gabriel, time for celebration, abundant rewards for hard work, release yourself from burdensome situations. We have the magician. How wonderful. You can manifest the life you want. What you need will magically appear. Successful beginnings. We have King of Gabriel, generous inspirational, dramatic, driven, keep your eyes on the big picture, leave the details to others, experience that leads to success, genuine concern for others. And then you have the three of Ariel. Do what you love, a time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors, working with others in a cooperative manner. Capricorns, I'm seeing that you are at the beginning of something. And yeah, I'm seeing that you are right at the beginning of something, something that you've started and 
I think it has real potential here. Real potential. What is this about here, the Four of Raphael? Seek out other possibilities. Everything in your reading is suggesting positivity and a new beginning. Why are you holding back? It's like you're holding back from something. You're not fully committed to it or you're bringing in thinking that says it won't succeed. That There's a little flavor of something. It's like um, below, the, below the surface here. On the one hand, everything is expanding and there is exponential growth and real opportunity. Mm. And yet somehow your emotions are not fully in this, even though this is available to you. Let's draw some runes. What's going on here for my lovely Capricorns? Everything in your reading is looking amazing. Okay, you have the rune of movement. It's, it's gathering momentum, AWAS. This is the bettering of any situation. Okay. Hmm. Do you know, I actually just think that you're in a circumstance which is genuinely unfolding in a really, really good way. But I actually just feel that you're at a low ebb. I think you've been through quite a lot. And as a consequence, your energy levels are low. You've been through a lot. And I think it's almost making it harder for you to believe in the magic of the moment, to embrace the possibilities that are around you. Yes, we have the rune of defense, Awaz. Hmm. Try and take a bit of time out, my lovely Capricorns. What I'm seeing here is loaded with possibility. It's loaded with potential. It's going to unfold. In this moon month, I honestly think um, whatever you have embarked upon, there's something relatively new around you. Whatever you've embarked upon, it, honestly, it's really, really good. It, it's the, it was the right choice, the right decision. I just think you've been through a lot before you got here. And you know how when you, you work really, really hard to get to something and then you finally get there and it's almost like you haven't quite got the energy to enjoy it, it will come. Um, because what you have around you is really, really good now, that the potential, the future, everything is getting better. Really what's needed here is for you to just actually make sure that you do seriously look after yourself and take a little bit of time out. I just feel like your energy is depleted. It's kind of one of those times when maybe uh, your vitamins are low or you just have been through a lot. You've expended a lot of energy to get to where you are. What this moon month is, is saying, firstly, your reading is really reassuring you. Get another room for you. Yeah, it's really reassuring you. Absolutely. And look at that even more. We have the rune of the harvest. I think that um, everything that's going on around you, I think you may have actually had to work almost possibly the to get to the whatever it is that's now beginning to happen around you, something that's relatively new. Almost the history of discovering it or getting to it probably has gone back over about a year. It's probably taken you about a year to get to where you are. And you're tired. You know, that's understandable. You've expended a lot, but now is the time to begin to sort of ease off the pressure and start to live in the moment of what is now emerging. You've done the hard slog almost against all odds to get there, you know, the endurance test, and now it's time to turn the volume down and just begin to ease into the new situation in a, in a gentle fashion without pressure. I think because it took a lot for you to pick up and sustain and get to this point. It's almost as though your, your mind and body are still in that sort of endurance test mode. And it's, it's kind of like if you've, if you've done all the training to run a marathon or climb Mount Everest or something, and now you've climbed to Mount Everest, um, you don't have to keep up the same level of training. You've done that charity marathon run. It was a one-off. Um, you're there now, you've succeeded, you don't, and, and yes, you can run every single day, but you don't have to run the hard slog every single day anymore. It's, it's like that's the flavour of your moon month, my lovely Capricorns. Let's draw another card for you. 
What a be shame for my lovely Capricorns. May we have further information for them. May we have further information, please, for my beautiful Capricorns. It's a time for healing, balsamic moon. The balsamic moon is when the moon is really easing off. It's, it's the last moon phase before the new moon. So energy is diminishing. It's time to relax, to take stock, uh, to, to, doesn't mean the progress isn't still happening, but just to ease off the throttle, basically. Um, everything we're seeing here is emerging in an amazing way, my lovely Capricorns. This is a moon month for you to, you know, be consistent, be, get on with steady progress, but really ease off the throttle, literally, and just allow what is now emerging in something that's a new beginning for you. Allow it to start to unfold naturally and, and truly, You then your energy levels will replenish and you're going to get back into a zone where you can really enjoy all of the potential that is now sitting around you. Beautiful Capricorns, this is your reading for this moon month. This is the energy that's around you. Um, I will be doing an extended reading, a deep dive. I always do my bigger deep dive readings on, uh, on Patreon. Patreon is not a free platform like uh, YouTube, but there are no advertisements and you can, uh, it basically works on donations. You can give as little or as much as you want. So if those readings are appealing to you and you'd like to do a bit more of an in-depth dive into the moon month, then do check us out. Beautiful souls, I am sending you the biggest hug and all the love in the world. Capricorns, just have a really chilled, ease off the throttle kind of month. And, and then you're going to be able to start to get much more present to the amazingness of this new beginning that really is now around you. Tons of love, beautiful souls. Hey, beautiful Aquarius, what is this moon month? Well, your cards are shouting almost. What is this moon month going to be telling us for you? Okay, there is your first card. What is this moon month telling us? I feel like your cards are excited. Now, I don't know what that's about. We need to see more. Beautiful Aquarius, I feel like a genuine kind of, like there's a surge of energy coming in for you here. I'm actually seeing that card as well for you. Let's check this out. What's going on? What is arriving in your world with a bang? <laughs> the High Priestess, Archangel Haniel, powerful psychic insights, reflection and meditation that provides valuable information, be at peace. We then have King of Ariel, successful, stable, accomplished, powerful. Your plans are working out very well. Things are going with a bang, I'm hearing. Professional and financial success using resources wisely. Oh my goodness me, you've got the eight as well. Eight of Ariel. Take great pride in your excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional education or training. This is moving forwards. And then we have Knight of Ariel, trustworthy, understanding, devoted, funny. There is so much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan, being watched over by someone kind. Wow. Wow, 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 and more wow. My lovely, beautiful Aquariuses, your moon month is loaded, loaded with gorgeousness okay now you're not at the final completion of something you're not at this point of you know the end goal but my goodness me gateways doorways are opening for you i mean these are happening cards these are successful cards I feel like something you've been working on is really taking shape. Yes, there's more work to be done. Yes, there's perhaps more learning to be done, but it's taking shape. You can see where it's going. Yes, there's so much more to accomplish, but it's gathering momentum. Honestly, I, I just want to say Aquarius, whatever you are doing, keep going. Whatever this is connecting to within the, you know, the uniqueness of your world, because this is a general reading. So whatever you are personally working on, your top priority in your world, it is taking shape, it's building form, it's gathering momentum this moon month. 
I just feel like it's almost like you're at that point where you know you're on a roll and, and it's like, you know, it's like going for a journey and every you, you can have those journeys sometimes and every traffic light just turns to green. That's the energy of your reading. Whatever your priority is in your world, it's coming together, it's happening, keep going, go for it, continue investing. Whatever you need to learn to make it happen, to make it work, to make it emerge, to make it evolve, then learn it. You'll be shown it. I'm loving your energy. I'm absolutely loving your energy, Aquarius. You have the rune of strength. How beautiful is this? This is Uras. This is symbolized by like, like an oxen. So being able to plow a really big field. It's like this beautiful horse here. Being able to come and it's got that power, that energy. I, I actually genuinely, for me, and in, in just in my own in my own readings or in all my readings, really, when this rune shows up, it tells me that the universe has your back. Seriously. So whatever you are investing in, I, I just want to say, keep going. It feels like such an affirmation. We have the rune of flow. Uh, I mean, just how stunning, Lagos. This is going to flow into um, into existence like the right information coming to you at the right time and the right people coming to you at the right time the right gifts gibo is um the rune of partnership it's also the rune of gifts so literally i also want to say if you are uh, working at uh, enhancing or developing your own gifts then you know don't hold back keep going if you've started a I don't know, almost like a business or a career um, career move towards um, letting your gifts unfold. Totally pursue this. Everything here is emerging. Um, I, I honestly think this is for you a moon month of, of serious progression, growth, but with joy about it. It's not just fast happening, wham, bam. It, it's really just let's build on this let's make this real let's make it bigger let's make it better let's make it happen it's a gorgeous energy so whatever your most important thing is in your world continue to invest in it it's taking shape it's going to unfold i just feel like this reading is literally almost energetically giving you the rubber stamp I, I will do the bigger deep dive extended readings over on Patreon if you want to dive deeper, Aquarius. But seriously, just keep going. Um, ah, how interesting. Adjustments are required. Now, this is interesting because at a quarter moon, we are always evaluating. So what I'm seeing here, especially with the eight of Ariel, take pride in your excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional educational training. What I'm seeing in your moon month is that there will be a, some additional either information or training or something else coming into the mix that you're going to need to add to your ongoing success. So something else is going to be coming in, um, my beautiful Aquarius. But again, keep going. It, it's going to be guided. You'll be shown this. It will be a gift something exactly the thing you need the person or the thing or the piece of information will be given to you so you can continue beautiful beautiful aquarius beautiful energy aquarius I, this is your reading um you're welcome to join me for the extended the deeper dive but honestly this is magic it's truly magic we'll look at in more detail there but totally totally amazing moon month for you um your energy is so buoyant it really does feel like those traffic lights turning to green and if one of them is red just look around you because you'll probably find that there's a sign immediately in front of you of something you need to see that will give you just what you need to know to then be able to progress and then all the other traffic lights energetically are going to turn to green too Wow, super fab month for you, Aquarius. Um, keep going and keep us posted in the comments about what this is about, um, my beautiful souls. Tons of love to you, wonderful souls, wonderful Aquariuses. And um, I look forward to seeing you for some other readings here on YouTube really soon. And do check out Patreon if you, if you wish to. Patreon, by the way, is, is not a 
a free site like YouTube. Um, it works on the basis of donations, so you can give as little or as much as you wish. So um, do check out those extended readings if they are appealing to you. Tons of love. Hey Pisces, let's, oh, cards are showing for you already. Let's check out what is happening for you in this moon month. Do you know, I'm going to shuffle again, but do you know, your cards are just like, just revealing themselves, my lovely Pisces. So what are we showing for Pisces for this coming moon month? You have the Ace of Raphael. Wow, super new beginnings, a positive new emotional experience, fulfilling romantic relationships, deep and lasting spiritual insights. How wonderful. Two of Michael, it will all be better if you just make a decision, over analysing a problem, find a compromise. We then have Queen of Raphael, kind, understanding, giving, psychic, follow your heart, a love of home and family, trustworthy psychic information. And then we have Knight of Gabriel, confident, enthusiastic, courageous, charismatic. Time to take action. Great passion for a cause, instinctively knowing just what to do. Okay, my lovely Pisces. Well, what I want to say immediately, right off the bat, is that this is going to be a happening moon month for you. I'm seeing, I'm seeing things moving, like happening, actually, um, shifting, turning, taking place in real terms. Now, there's a sort of a dilemma around for you in some way, shape or form. I think part of this is to do with the happening of things, that you may have to make some choices and decisions about things. There could be a connection with, um, I don't know, maybe if there's anyone any potential for moving or any potential for home and family members moving or it was something about relocation coming through here for some of you obviously not all it's a general reading one way or the other you're needing to make some significant decisions and choices and i think that you do actually have to make them they're not it's not something you can put on hold or it will pay you to make them, really. A location could be a part of it. But it could connect, yeah, family, home. Now, it, and even relationship-wise, I am seeing quite a, a people-centred orientation around your reading. And of choices and decisions having to be made. Now, there is a need to be decisive, Pisces. And I think, I do think this is suggesting that instinctively you will actually know what to do. But this is one of those times when it would be more important to follow what matters than follow a sort of the, I don't know, let's say, let's say you had a dilemma or a decision around what would be the cheapest option or what would be the option that would give you the most fulfillment then the most fulfillment would absolutely win the day in no uncertain terms here so whatever choices and decisions you are making and there's definitely the need to make them i think most of you will know what some of them are it doesn't feel unexpected it feels as though things are actually progressing we have these two dolphins here and the same again here i feel something is progressing it's taking it's well it, it's moving in the direction it's going to move in but because of that something you're having to make choices accordingly Something is unfolding, emerging as it should. But, you know, I, I feel like have the confidence of your convictions. I think you're going to know what you really want. And then it's a question of having the, the confidence to really say, actually, I, I'm going, the choices I'm going to make will be a reflection of what I actually want. I'm really keeping to that, my lovely Pisces. Draw some runes for you. 
We have the rune of Gibo, partnership comes into it again. So relationships are, are present. This is also a rune that speaks of gifts coming. So I think there's going to be a very enriching experience that is coming through the process of this decision making. I think there's going to be a really favorable outcome. Perhaps in making some choices and decisions, you might actually end up getting closer to someone or having a, a more enriching experience of someone. I mean, perhaps because you are focused on what really matters. Your second rune is the rune of the self, Manas. Now, this is really interesting because it is suggesting to me, sitting with the two of Michael, that all will be better if you just make a decision over analysing a problem. I think you might do a little bit too much, um, you know, because we can, can't we, when we're too much internal debate going on. And it's probably the right time to just, again, just take right action, make a decision that you know in your heart of hearts is the right one to take with kindness, with understanding. Just, yeah, follow your heart. Follow your heart, Pisces, and you cannot go wrong really, for the Queen of Raphael, we have the rune of Nathus, constraint, and then we have the rune of Cano, openings, with the Knight of Gabriel, and this is a very direct action energy, sitting on a very direct action card. Now, Nathus, the rune of constraint, just simply asks you to have patience. So if you're having to make choices or decisions alongside or in response to things that other people are doing or saying just have a little bit of patience and a little bit of care and all will be well the clarity of your direction is going to become really really apparent and it really is all about following your heart just be clear be steady be patient persevere I kind of, I'm hearing stick to your guns over something, and this is to do with what, something that really matters to you. I, I think this is going to be a really interesting month for you, Pisces, because I, I think something is going to shift and move forwards. A situation is going to shift and move forwards. And even if it feels like there's a dilemma around what choices and decisions to make, I think you're going to be very pleased with the result at the end of it. And, and I think the whole essence of this is about you following your heart and just being really true to that and, and voicing your perspective from your heart. And as long as you do that and you kind of uphold that, I just think everything's going to sort of fall into place for you. Let's draw another card for my beautiful Pisces. May we draw another card for my beautiful Pisces, please. May we draw another card. We've got two coming out here for you. We have, you are good enough, okay, full moon in Virgo, and take time to breathe out, disseminating moon. Okay, so I think the choice or the decision that you have to make is, is possibly feeling a little bit, I don't know, a bit emotionally intense. But everything in your reading is saying, if you just trust your heart, then everything will actually follow through. So take time to breathe out and also take time to recognize and honor that your, your heart and the stuff that really matters to you in this choice does actually matter and you have the right and entitlement to follow it through. That's coming through very strongly here for you, Pisces. Pisces, I'm, I'm gonna be doing a, a big deep dive extended reading over on Patreon. Um, I mean, this is your overview, really, of the energy for this moon month. I think you probably know what this is about at the beginning of the moon month. I don't think it's something new because it's running its course. But in all honesty, I, I don't think it needs to be a big fraught kind of deal. In, in all honesty, I think as long as you are kind and understanding to yourself, and just truly trust your heart and believe that you have the right to follow your heart. 
I think everything will flow and, and literally fall into place and sort of find its clear direction um, without any real trouble, actually. I, I think you, you're possibly imagining greater conflict than there's going to be around this or, or a greater amount of difficulty in, in choosing. Um, I, I, I actually think it'll be easier. The key here is just trust and follow your heart. And, and believe that you have the right and entitlement to. That's really um, the essence of your message for this moon month, my beautiful Pisces. Um, beautiful souls, you're welcome to join me for the big in-depth readings on Patreon, the, the extended readings here, if you wish to have more information. Um, if not, I will see you for another reading. If you're new to my channel, Patreon works on the basis of donations. It's not a free site like YouTube, but you can give as little or as much as you wish, and you have access to all the zodiac sign readings readings um, and many other things over there as well. So beautiful souls, tons and tons of love to you and I look forward to seeing you for another reading soon. Beautiful souls, I hope you have enjoyed that Moon Month update and also your All Zodiac Sign readings. Don't forget to check out the bigger ones on Patreon if you wish to. Uh, the link is in the description box and in a comment. And thank you just so, so much for being here and being a part of the Moon Magic Tarot community. Thank you for your liking, sharing, subscribing. All of these things really do help to support the channel. It is honestly such a, a privilege and an honor to be connected with you and to be reading for you and sharing this information. Uh, and thank you for your comments as well. You guys are just inspirational. You really, really are. So tons of love to you all and have the most amazing moon month.